Uh, thank you, Google, for finally releasing this long requested feature. We've got tables, legitimate tables inside of Google Sheets. Excel users uh, have long chastised us for not having this. And I have been pretty peeved about it too, but it's available, generally available now. We're going to walk through the pre-built options that they give us just to get used to it. If you're not used to tables, very beginner level, beginner friendly video overviewing the whole deal why we care about this, why it's important, and I hope you find something of value. Let's dive in. It's June 2024. This should be generally available for everyone to use. And let's just, uh, let's open up a new tab and I will build one of these with you. Let's refresh it and see if we can get the table menu to pop up over here on the right side. This is probably going to go away. You know, they do this with new features. They did this with the Gemini, Ask Gemini thing. They want to highlight what their latest feature is and give you an easy way to hop into it. So we've got a bunch of different pre-built tables, project management, travel planner. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Let's just grab this trip budget one. You click it and boom, it's popped into your spreadsheet right here. So as you can see, what it's basically doing, it's creating a little extra space just for visibility purposes for this little tab at the top, which contains abilities like customizing table colors, renaming the table, we'll just call this budget, and some other things revert to unformatted data. So if we do that, uh, you can see that every all the formatting goes away. We don't want that. Um, previous to this, what you had to do to replicate this, and it really wasn't replicating the functionality of a table, just the looks of it, was going up here to format and alternating colors. And then you could change your alternating colors to make it look like a table, but the functionality, it, it didn't do any anything for that. So over here, this is another way still that you can change the header colors. And then you, this is the only way you can change the secondary colors if you want these bands to be a different color than the standard light gray they come with. I'm gonna actually leave mine the way they come because that's pretty standard and looks good to me. What can we do? Well, as I've shown you here, we've got formatting options, renaming options, but then we've got view options right here. So we can group by view and let's just put in some data Actually, let's go back to this other sheet where I've already put some data into another table. And let's say group by type. So this just breaks up literally the different types from this uh, column C type column, and it groups them into categories so we can view them in a more comprehensive way. We can also save this view and uh, put the title of that there. So if we X out of here, go back to our main view, and then go up here to our uh, views menu, we can see that we've got this saved type view that we can go straight back to. So we can save multiple views there. We can also create filtered views. So let's say we want to filter by the item name. And let's just say, hey, filter column, get rid of the blanks, press OK. That looks better. Going up here, create filter view, save this one. No blank items, saving that. And we actually did it out of order. So I'm going to go down here and remove the blanks and now exit this. And let's see if we've got our no blank items range right there. So if I clear out of there, add the blanks back into my regular view. Now let's actually give it a shot with no blank items. And there you go. Okay. So we did a couple things out of order there. What else can we do? Well, we have different data types available. So we can change the item type of our data columns. How do we do that? Well, we come up here and we select, interesting. Looks like I've got a filter on somewhere, but I don't want there to be a filter on anywhere. So let's go up here to remove filter. That was weird. All right, so once we've got all the filters actually removed, now to change the data type, we can come up here to this little downward V button and we can select, oh, let's say this needs to be a number for column one. So that changes the data type of the values in this column. 
As you can see from the pre-built table, it's got some automatic data types already put in here for us. This should be currency, it looks like. Yep. And so you can change that uh, column by column. You can sort stuff and do the regular deals like you would be used to in modifying columns. What else can we do? So the real power here, of course, is the ability to now inventory, if I could spell correctly, is now include tables and table columns dynamically inside of formulas. So as you can see here, if I select inventory, well, that's going to be the array that consists of this whole table. The important thing I wanted to highlight is that we can now include dynamically everything here. So let's just select this right here, and we're going to use the whole range or the whole array rather. So I'm gonna wrap this in uh, brackets like so. And if I put notes down here, then we've got notes down here. Furthermore, if I add some more rows and put another item, item one, two, three down here and yet more notes, you'll see that dynamically this formula knows to include everything that is within this array, this notes column. So this is the powerful part that we've previously had to do a lot of working around in our formulas to uh, emulate, and it hasn't been perfect because it hasn't been dynamic. So pretty pleased to see this. Now the other thing to make note of is what if we've got our own data and we want this to be turned into a table. Well, here's some fake data that I've got right here. Very simply, right click, convert to table, and you're done. Now that is also available up here in the format uh, menu, and you can select convert to table from there as well. But that's literally as simple as it is, and it's even automatically locked this first row for me, which I could remove if I felt like it, I think. Let's see if it'll let me remove it. Does it? Yeah. So you can remove that. I kind of like that it locks that automatically though. I will be making more videos in the future about this. Check this one out in the time being and hope you have a great one.